Thank you very much, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to have this opportunity. I want to explain briefly why I favor combining a carbon dividend financed by a carbon tax, why I think it is a better way than others of reducing carbon dioxide. A carbon tax is just simply the, the simplest and economically most effective way to reduce the level of carbon emissions that contribute to global warming. It's better than the more cumbersome method of regulation that we now use. It's also simpler and much more reliable than the so-called cap and trade method. The strategy of a, the strategy, thank you, sir. The strategy of a carbon tax is very simple. Require each household and each business that causes carbon dioxide emissions to pay a tax in proportion to the volume of emissions that they create by using gasoline to drive a car or to heat their home or to operate a business. Such a tax gives them the incentive to change behavior, to change behavior in ways that reduce the volume of carbon emissions, for example, by driving less or by driving a more fuel efficient car or for a business by using a more fuel efficient technology. A carbon tax would be levied indirectly by taxing the raw material at the point at which it enters the economy. Oil at the refinery, coal where it's produced, and so on. The tax at the source is then built into the prices of the products made from that raw material. So individuals and businesses uh, experience the carbon tax without the inconvenience of paying a tax at each transaction. Different types of carbon raw materials provide very different amounts of carbon dioxide. For example, coal uh, is much more CO2 producing than natural gas. So the carbon tax at the source would vary by the, the uh, type of raw material. Experts on the science of carbon can tell the Congress how much to tax each type of carbon in order to achieve a tax equal to, say, $40 per ton of CO2 or whatever the desired level may be. So the practical problem of implementing a carbon tax is and has been political. No one wants to pay an extra tax. But combining that tax with the carbon dividend, which is the unique and most important feature of this proposal, combining it with a carbon dividend means that most, indeed about two thirds of American households, according to a study done by the staff of the Treasury, will receive more in carbon dividends than they pay indirectly in carbon taxes. Let me say that again, because it's so central to the political support, the potential political support for this idea. Most Americans, about two thirds of all Americans, will receive more in the form of a cash carbon dividend than they pay indirectly in the form of carbon taxes. So they are net financial winners. So it's a good idea, it's an idea that would work, and it's an idea that should be politically supported. Um, let me now read a brief statement from um, uh, Hank Paulson, uh, in which he writes the following. He says, I have long believed that climate change poses an unacceptable risk to our environment as well as to our economy. We must take steps to prepare for what is likely to come and importantly, to reduce the risks of the worst outcomes. Doing so, says Hank Paulson, is an absolute necessity. The, proposed, the proposal unveiled today provides a clear path forward and I am delighted to support it. Putting a price <clears throat> on carbon is by far the most efficient and effective way 
to reduce emissions, and it will accelerate investment in the industries of the future. Combine this with pro-growth actions that improve U.S. competitiveness and help working-class Americans, and you have an economic policy that warrants widespread support. Those are Hank Paulson's words, but I completely agree with them. And as he says finally, as the title of this paper suggests, this is a fundamentally conservative plan, one that showcases the principles of free market and limited government. I am a proud Republican and believe it is important to protect those principles and to always strive for evidence-based policy making. This plan, Hank Paulson says, provides the roadmap to do just that and I hope will serve as a guide for policymakers going forward. Thank you very much.